Hello. Oh my gosh, I have to fix the camera because we're not in a good position. Is this better? Oh my gosh. I'm just like, I've never done this before. <laughs> Hi, can you see me? Let me check to see if you can. Oh, you can see me. Hi, how are you guys doing? So I'm going to be looking up there at you and looking down here at you guys chatting. So it's going to be a lot. Hello, everybody coming in. Painting the roses red. Hello. Hello, Shannon. Hello, Trisha. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, Tamika. Hello, Kit Kat. What is up? Uh, let me guys know if you can, uh, let me guys know, let me know if you guys can hear me and see me. Um, I think that I have the settings adjusted correctly today. I've um, got my computer here. Uh, so everything good. Everything sounds good. All right. Ready to watch some baking? Yes. So who knows if this is going to go good or if this is going to go bad. We don't know. I've never baked online live before. Clover is uh, sleeping in the corner. I'm here by myself right now. My husband's on the way home. So hopefully uh, he won't interrupt the live, but he knows what's going on. So first of all, how are you guys doing today? And uh, who is ready for the holidays? I, I feel like I'm not, uh, but we're getting there. We're making some gingerbread cookies today, which I've actually never done. Uh, and you can see the fiasco I had uh, making the dough uh, on, on Wednesday's vlog. <laughs> on Wednesday's vlog. Let me check the chat room, see what's going on. Oh, I need to expand this because I cannot see. Let's see, also, Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, Dennis from True Financials. Everyone go subscribe to him because he's amazing. Hello, everybody. Hello, Susie. Hello, Walker. Actually, um, is it bad if I put on some, like, Christmas music? Uh -oh. All right, you guys tell me if, it's coming from my computer, so it's like coming from my computer, like going into the microphone. Tell me if it's too loud. Actually, it's probably super loud because the, volume from the microphone. Microphone's like right here. Anyway, tell me if the music is too loud. I will turn it down, but I thought it would be like fun and festive if I had music too. Uh, let me read down the chat. Um, hello, you guys. Oh, you made cookies yesterday. Uh, I, I don't think that mine will turn out super awesome because I like messed up some stuff. Too loud? Okay, let's turn the music down a tiny bit. All right, how about now? I mean, now, now I can barely hear it, but it's right next to the mic, so you guys could, could be able to hear it. So let me know if it's too loud. Let me go get the dough. Let's go get this started. First of all, I need you guys' help. So I went to, uh, I made some gingerbread cookie dough, and I, this is like legit, I think my second time using this uh, rolling pin. Do I put some flour here first, and then put the dough on and roll it out? What's the deal? What's, what's, what is, what's the procedure? Okay, now we can't hear the music at all. <laughs> Oops. All right. Can we hear the music now? Oh, no, the music ended. No, now we can't hear it. <laughs> oh, it's good now. Okay, flour first. All right, flour first. So we're going to grab some flour. What happened to my fun music? Is it going to play the next, next thing? Let's see. All right, what about now? Is it still too loud? <laughs> I'm gonna go get some dough and the flour. Okay. You're a pro chef, Walker? <laughs> you just made box mac and cheese, nice. All right, it's still a little loud. I'm trying to find like even, even Steven here. How about now? Yeah, we gotta have Christmas vibes, right? We gotta have totally Christmas vibes. All right, so I got my my dough here, my gingerbread cookie dough. It's looking pretty good for the first time making it. I've never made it before. So uh, let's see. Use cling wrap on both sides so it doesn't stick. Uh, let's see. All right, better? Music's good? Put the music behind you? Mm. I don't know, it's too complicated, it's too complicated. It's gotta come out of my computer for, for a little while, but maybe I can change it to like that speaker in a few minutes. Oh, you guys, before I touch the dough, do you guys want to see Clover? He just came over to, like, talk to me. Do you guys want to see Clover? And then I have to wash my hands because, like, I can't touch the dough. Touch Clover and then touch the dough. Clover? Waiting. <laughs> All right, everybody wants to see Clover. All right, here we go. Oh, he brought me. He brought me this ball. 
he brought this to me, just looking at me. Dude, it's not the time, but I promise later we can play, okay? Here we go. Here's the man, the man, the myth, the myth, the legend, the clover dog. He should be really tired, but he, um, I don't know, he always seems to have a lot of energy. Right, buddy? You had to eat early because of the live streams today, right? Okay. Hey, everybody, say hi to Clover. Hello. Okay. I need you to take a nap for like an hour, and then we'll, we'll play after the live stream is over, okay? Okay. Goodbye. All right. Let me go wash my hands. I'll be right back. All right, we got clean hands. All right, let's see. Uh, how does he like the burger toy? He loves it. Still not as much as the fries, though. It's really weird. And the mouse. He's like, mouse is like number one seed of toys. It's hilarious. All right. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Trisha, thank you. This apron is like hilarious. It's got little Scotties all over it. Anthropology. All right. So what do we do? We have instrument middle music now. Can we, can we still hear it? It's like little guitar music. Okay, so wait, we, we gotta put the flower down, right? A little flower down here at our nice super clean counters. And I spread it out, right? Spreading this puppy out. I'm glad you guys can't see exactly what's going on here because it's really not, not good. Walker, you're good at baking? I'll put flour in the rolling pen too? All right, let's do that. Awesome, thank you for letting me know the music is perfect. It's like kind of sketchy. If I, I wish I would, um, I should learn how to use OBS to do these live streams so that I could integrate everything, um, but uh, that's for, that's for another day, you know what I mean? All right, so let's let's roll her out here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be horrendous. <laughs> so let's see, let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Oh, thank you, Susie. Cake mix is the easiest way to make cookies. I know, man. Oh, this dough. This dough is a little, it's a little, whoa, it's a little like not, not wanting to roll out. But actually, no, it's doing pretty well. It's rolling. Clover has brought me the ball again. And he's very insistent and he's like, hey, mom, <laughs> I know you're going to play with me. I know you're going to play with me. This is a workout, man. So yes, Susie, this is such a workout. So I have, um. What's the weather like in your city? You know what? It's not too bad, actually. Right now, it's pretty mild. Um, it's like maybe like upper 30s. It's kind of, I don't expect December to have the really bad weather. I expect um, January and February to be really, really cold and nasty. That's usually the way it goes. Yeah, rolling. You can separate it and warm, warm it by rolling some in your hand. Ooh, preheating ready. Let's see. Oh, you were in Boston a few months ago? Darn it. Well, next time. Hopefully, um, I don't know, I'd love to meet some of you guys in like a more formal way. I did run into uh, two of you in the street, um, which was uh, really fun. <laughs> um, it's, it's always unexpected, but very fun. I was with Sarah one time, so it was, <laughs> she was like, Oh my God, I can't believe you saw one of your, one of your people in the street. And I was like, that's my peeps. All right. Do you guys want to, do you guys want to see how, uh, how it's turning out? I got to like wipe my hands first. Let's see. Hold on. Let's... We got the dog towel here. Let me, uh, let me adjust the camera a little bit. So you guys can see the whole situation, but you can't see my face anymore. And for some reason now, 
it has uh, it has gotten somewhat blurry. But you know, we don't care. <laughs> Let's see what you're saying. There's people beeping outside going crazy. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Dennis, you thought it was your oven going out? <laughs> That's how I feel about um, cell phone sounds, you know? Like when I hear that, um, I always think it's my cell phone and I don't even have that ring. <laughs> Hi, Sasha, how are you? You're in Boston four days a week, but you work nights. Oh yeah. Well, you might run into me on the way to a gig or something. So you never know. If you do run into me in the street, please say hi. Um, I will probably give you a hug because I'm, I'm that kind of person. <laughs> I'm into hugs. Um, yeah, say hi, don't be shy. I like running into people. All right, this, this is looking pretty good. It's supposed to make 24 cookies. But for some, I somehow don't believe that. <laughs> it's midnight where you live? Wait, you live in the Netherlands, don't you? Home of PewDiePie. <laughs> Does everyone in the Netherlands love PewDiePie or are they like a, a, ashamed of him slightly? <laughs> you shouldn't be. PewDiePie's not that bad. I like PewDiePie. I like me a little pewds. Sasha, you did miss Clover, but you know what? You can see him after I'm done um, putting the cookies on the... Uh, on the cookie sheet. I've lined them with pars parchment paper. Yes. <laughs> PewDiePie is a national treasure for you guys. It's awesome. Let's see. All right. So if you guys saw yesterday's vlog, you know that I was at Target and we got these, uh, what are these? Cookie cutters. <laughs> and they're all different shapes. Clover, you're gonna have to chill out, okay? There we go. He brought the ball back, but it's gone now. Sorry, bunny. Okay, so we've got, um, which one should we do first? We've got angel, heart. Heart's kind of lame, don't you think? Uh, we got a little mitten. We got a gingerbread man, which I think we have to do, right? Totally. Um, we got a little Christmas tree, a snowflake, a bell, which is strange, and um, a a star, or if you're from Boston, you say a star. <laughs> star. Gingerbread man first. Let's see. Oh, gingerbread man is the winner. It already has three votes. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. And the Christmas tree. Christmas. It could be Christmas bells. I just don't understand the, the just the random bell. Like why? Okay. All right. We got. Okay. The Christmas. The gingerbread man has the most votes so far. Yeah. He's gonna. He's winning. All right, and then I'll do um, the Christmas tree and the snowflake <laughs> and the mitten. The mitten's in there. Um, no one voted for the staff. <laughs> staff. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do gingerbread man here. We'll do him close to the edge. Oh, is this the right side? No, it's not. There we go. All right, oh my God, look how cute he is. Stop. Let's do a few of him, okay? We're coming out a little thick. Oh my God, they're so cute. My husband's gonna be so excited. <laughs> oh, silver bells, you're right. That could be the whole thing. All right, I'm gonna make like, maybe like five of these dudes. Gingerbread dudes, I'm gonna call them. And then um, we'll switch over to another shape. There we go. How long did it take me to make the dough? You know what, too long. <sighs> too long. Oh, Clover's standing by the door. Clover, I'll take you outside in just a few. Just a few, actually, that's a lie. You gotta wait, sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's do some trees. Yeah, we gotta space them out. Do you wanna space them out more? What do you think? Like how much more space do you think they need? Is that good? You guys are helping me because I don't, you know, I don't do cookies. This is not like the kind of thing, this is not my my area of expertise. I can I can cook really well, but baking baking is like a, a witchcraft, if I may be so blunt. One inch at least. All right, that's pretty much an inch. Let's see. All right, sweet. I like you guys, this is like interactive baking. 
<laughs> I do always keep my husband in mind when we're when we're doing the food things. Um, he actually left overnight last night, and um, I was like, "Oh man, I'm making black bean soup." <laughs> he usually doesn't eat that, so I usually only make it when um, when I'm here by myself. So black bean soup it was, but I had some today, and I didn't feel well after. So I think maybe I I just didn't take enough vino or something before, you know. Take Bino before and there'll be no gas. Let's do the mitten. Oh, wrong side. Okay, fun, funny story about mitten. Um, my my mother-in-law, my husband's mother, has um, has a black and white cat, and he has um, a little like he has little like white socks. So the the my niece's nephews said, you know, you should name him mittens, and so his name is mittens. Um, and my uh, my mother-in-law, God bless her heart, she's the sweetest, sweetest person and like most sassy. I love her to death. She is from um, she is from like Montreal area in Canada, and she's got a really adorable accent. And she only when she calls her the the cat, she just calls a mitten, just singular. So so we were for a while, so we were calling a mitten the kitten. She's like mitten, no, no mitten. It's pretty funny. It's pretty cute. All right, I can sneak, sneak another one in there. Sneak a mitten in there. I don't know. I think they're getting a little close, but it's fine. Some of them are a little thicker than others, too. They look pretty good, right, for, like, a non-baker person. I think they're looking pretty good. All right. Let's see what's going on in the chat. I don't want to ignore anybody. Uh... <laughs> oh, thank you, Walker. You're so nice. You're so nice. Thank you so much. All right. Oops, snowflakes. I always want to put them upside down, put them the cut side. Yeah, my in-laws are so cute. I love, oh my God, my my mother-in-law is the cutest person. She's so, she's and she's really like sassy and strong. I love her so much. But um, we lived with her for um, six months while we were waiting for this condo to be built. And because um, we were supposed to only wait for like, I don't know, we're, they said it was going to be ready in like, <laughs> Three months, so it ended up being six months. And we just heard her big house and mitten, and um, she spoiled us. <laughs> she cooked us dinner every evening and, and spoiled us. It was, it, she was, she was much too kind to the both of us. Um, but yeah, she's an awesome lady. Uh oh, this one's a little, a little thin and sad. We're gonna, you know what? I can't deal with that one. We'll put you back. We'll put you back in the mix. <laughs> Is the music still at an okay volume, you guys? Just want to make sure it's not like drowning out everything. If I were like a, a bigger, you know, YouTuber, I'd have a more like fancy setup, but I just, I don't. <laughs> okay, music's good? Okay, awesome. Let's see. I need at least one angel. You know what? You're right. Do they speak French? Yes. Um, my mother-in-law speaks French. Uh, French is her first language. She didn't speak much French when she came here, actually. Uh, but my, my husband and my sister-in-law speak less French. <laughs> So, um, sure, let me adjust the camera so you guys can see my face a little bit, if you, if you care about that. I don't know if you care about that or not, uh, but my, um, my husband uh, speaks a little French. I think he understands more than he speaks, actually. Oh, I broke that one, but let's cut another one. That's kind of the same way I feel about German. I understand a lot more than I speak nowadays, which is really unfortunate, um, but, you know, what are you going to do? Use it or lose it. That's what I say about languages. Oh, come on. I broke that one too. Let's see if we can stick it together. Stick it together. All right. Can I fit you on here? All right. I feel like I can fit some, like, tiny ones down here, or should I just stop it here and make some, like, I'm going to use another sheet. All right. You know what? We're, gonna, we're not going to take any chances. We're just going to, like, spread these out a little bit. I'm going to put these off to the side here. And I got... A baby tray <laughs> for the baby cookie. So make some more angels. How about that? I want to make some stars. Some stars. Let's see. <laughs> Janice wants me to send me send us some cookies. You don't even know if these are gonna be good. They could be like really bad. Okay, now I like they're sticking to the bottom of this of this counter here. Clover, I'm sorry. You're gonna go out in just a few minutes. Be waiting by the door again. He's confused about like why I'm not talking to directly to him. Let's make some stairs. I think I probably should put some more. Uh... Oh no, this one came off okay. 
Let's see. Yes, I do speak a little bit of German, but not, it's really bad. I, when I used to live in Germany, it was much better. My singing in German is very good. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I just, German is my best sung language. Um, and then probably, I don't know, I don't think my French is too bad, although maybe my voice teacher would beg to differ with that. But um, I think that my German is pretty, is the best. I guess second with Latin. And English. English is surprisingly difficult to sing in. So hard. All right, let's do, let's do a heart. Who's, oh my gosh. Hi, Winnie, I don't know if I can do, if I can do dinner, dinner live, live, like Christmas dinner, because I feel really nervous about Christmas dinner. But I promise I will make a video. I love all the German in the chat. Oh, chickadee, thank you. Yeah, my self care. I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm keeping with that. I'm like, I need to like, my flower game is weak over here because <laughs> some of my cookies is sticking to the counter. Now Clover's like going for his drawer to see if he can find any treats in there. Dude, I promise I will take you out in just a few moment, moments. Now, if I may, if I have to leave for a couple of minutes so that Clover can poop, I hope you guys understand. <laughs> He hasn't pooped yet. Let's see. What should I? What should I make more? I'm not. I'm not gonna make all of this dough. I think I'm gonna like cut as many as I can fit on here, and then I'm gonna wrap the rest of the dough up and make it like in a couple more days. Um, but let's see. What? Should, you know what? We don't, we need more men. We need more gingerbread men. So that's what's happening. That's what's up. Christina, I know dog owner problems. He's like. Totally, he's just standing by the door giving me the, the stare down. You would like not believe. And I hate that. I like he I I fed him really early this today because <laughs> of the live stream, because he usually eats at like six o'clock. And I took him out and he did nothing. Well he peed. And I was like, Are you sure you don't have to do anything else? He's like, Yeah, I'm good. And uh then he came in here, we snuggled for a bit. This man is just murdered. He he's just it's sad. We <laughs> we snuggled for a bit and um and then he brought me the ball, and now he's standing by the door. I think really he's bored. That's what I think. All right. Have you guys been enjoying Vlogmas? <laughs> I, it's, been, it's been a grind. Uh, Walker, plus Clover does warn me if he needs to go out. He's, he does just stand by the door like he's doing right now, but he won't go inside. He'll wait. He can hold it. The snowflake one looks more like a Star of David. It does look like a Star of David. It's kind of bizarre. Like, it's very snowflakey and yet Star of David-y. It's a multicultural cookie set. So we love that. We love her. We love an inclusive cookie set. You know what I mean? Sasha, thank you. Yay, everyone's loving Vlogmas. It's it's really fun. I, like, last year, I got a little stressed out doing it. Not going to lie. But this year, having a, I'm just having a blast. Having a good time. Let's see. Oh, thank you guys. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh oh, this guy, I think he's stuck. Come on, dude. Come on, George. Come on, George. Any kind of like thing that I'm having trouble with, I call it George. Just because I'm weird like that. Oh, there's some stuff sticking here. So I think one more and then we'll pop them in the oven. And then I may have to, uh, I may have to attend to the bean. So. All right, so let's let's put them in the oven, baby. All right, let's let's be safe and use our uh, our oven mitts. These are um, sort of junky oven mitts, but you know that's what we're that's what we're using right now. Let's put these puppies in there. Oh, they smell really good. Awesome. So it's like. Seven minutes. Let's put seven minutes on the clock. And you guys, I'll be right back. I'm not going to take, I'm going to take out Clover real quick. I promise I'll be gone for like two minutes. I'm so sorry. I'll be right back. Don't leave the 
the chat. I promise I'll be back. Have a conversation amongst yourselves. Go. He like just walked around for a little bit. Sometimes he just trolls and he just doesn't go at all. It's really annoying. But you know what? Better safe than sorry. You know what I mean? Hey, back it up, buddy. Here, here you go. All right. So I'm gonna wrap up the rest of this and maybe finish it up 
uh, manianas, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, uh, let's take a look at how the cookies are. Oh, they're looking pretty good, actually. Man. Can we see inside a little bit? The, the oven door is very dirty. Not even going to lie. Let's see. Please in the chat. It's still here. Yay. Where's the recipe? The recipe is from a website called Genius Kitchen. So I feel like any website called Genius Chicken, Genius Chicken, Genius Kitchen can't be bad, right? That just sounds like they know what they're talking about. So uh, I got it from a website called Genius Kitchen, and it seemed to be really nice. Although I had, um, I didn't do a very good job, like, following the directions. And I had a slight catastrophe, as you can see from Wednesday's video. Get excited. It's going to be exciting times. All right, so we're going we're gonna to put this back in the fridge. Oh my gosh. And in the meantime, I can just chat with you guys. I will clean this up later, I can't. Well, maybe I should clean a little bit now. Let's clean a little now. So if you guys celebrate Christmas, um, who has done, oh, that's seven minutes. Holy Toledo. All right, you guys. Let's take a look at the cookies, see what's up. Oh, the counter's cleaning up mess. I'm just gonna take a peek. You know what, they look pretty good, okay. They look pretty good. I'm gonna give them another like minute. 60 seconds on the clock. We're just gonna get cleaned up real fast. And then we're gonna take them out and let them cool down, mister. Cool down. All right, let's clean up all of the flour and business. Let's see. The rolling pin. Uh, the rolling pin is uh, something I purchased in like 2000, like maybe the year 2000. It's not an heirloom. It's like a regular bamboo rolling pin that I thought was cool when I was in my like early 20s and I still have it. I like it. <laughs> Woo. It's like trapping everything. Okay. Oh, the minute is up again. Darn it. Time is not going slow enough for all of us. I mean, come on. We need time to slow down just a little bit. Okay, let's take these puppies out of the oven. See what's doing here. Okay, 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 okay. We're doing this. Right. Ooh, it smells good. Wow, they look awesome. All right, so let's turn that off. And I got a little like cooling sheet here. I'm gonna put a few of these cookies, cookies, cookies on here. You know what? I don't have like the cookie spatula thing, but I'm gonna use the fish turner because I find the fish turner works really well. So I'm gonna remember to like not touch the, the pan. I have touched something in the past and like gotten my hand burned. It was really awful. I'm not gonna do that again. So I'll put them on here cool. Actually, I can get more than one. I can get a few. I hope they're as tasty as they look. And then we can decorate them. And that'll be fun times as well. A nice festive stream. Festive cookie making stream. This is what I was going for. Is this fun? Thumbs up for fun. Oh, you guys know watching the cookies bake? It's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting live stream material, right? They look pretty good, yeah. 
them on our cooling sheet here. We're gonna let them, I feel like they're kind of, they get random, you know? I'm a, I wanna straighten them out because of the, the OCDs, you know what I mean? I know a lot of people say don't joke about OCD, but I like genuinely uh, do have a form of OCD, but it doesn't have anything to do with like rituals or anything like that. It's like different. Um, but I feel like I feel like if you have it, you can joke about it. You know what I mean? Just being honest. Yay! Thumbs up. Thank you. I'm gonna try not to drop any on the floor. Oh, I dropped one. I dropped one down, down here. That he's lost. He's. Lo I'm not rescuing him. He's lost. He's down in the in the ether. I'm sorry, Mr. Gingerbread Man, but um, he's he's gone. He's gone. Rip taps, taps for that guy. All right, let's move this side. All right, get some of these friends. See, I'm, I'm being, I'm being like slightly reckless, but that's the fun of, you know, live stream baking. <laughs> right? Live stream baking. We're, we're risk takers. Got some uncooked flour on there, but you know, we're just going to ignore that. And the stars are cute. Why don't they make more of the stars? They're petite and adorable. That guy's got a messed up arm, but he's okay. All right, I'm realistically running out of space on here. All right. I want them to cool down so that we can decorate them. Because I've got my ever so cheapy, cheaty um, cookie icing. So we'll have to wait till they're cool. I don't want them to be hanging out in there. You know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna make room. We're making room. Making room. We've crowded, we've crowded the cooling sheet. But that's fine. All right, did it, did it. Um, I feel like I am gonna adjust the camera a little bit. <laughs> so sorry, let's put this down. All right, how, how's that? I don't know, it's kind of crooked. <laughs> sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm a professional YouTuber. No, seriously. Um, so that, they smell really good, by the way. I'm tempted to try one, even though they're still hot, um, like maybe one of the wonky ones, but we got some cheapy, cheaty icing from Target yesterday because that's how we roll, and I'm just, I'm just being honest. Oh, we got also these fun things. So these might have to come out, especially in with the gingerbread men. You know, you don't, like, that's something to use on the gingerbread men, wow. The packaging on this is tricky and cheap. <laughs> All right, let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Ask the room. <laughs> I know George is gone. George is gone. He gave up, you know what? He gave up his life for the rest of his fellow men. He uh, he was a good gingerbread man. And uh, I'm sorry to see him go. He's uh, he's tainted now and he's, uh, he's gonna have to go. So, sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I try just one cookie? You, you want to try just one cookie? You get a flight from, to, to, to try one cookie? Yeah, come on over. Come on over. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's eggnog and milk. That's a lot of dairy. I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> yes, may he rest in peace. Let's see. This is the little, like, cheapy tray thing. Now, these, these like, uh, licorice things, I'm honestly, like... Why do they include these? This is the most random. Like in the picture, they have them like used as garland or whatever. But like, let's be real. First of all, why not red? Just a thought. And second of all, who puts licorice on cookies? Not me. I'm gonna eat it though. Definitely gonna eat it. So let's cut let's cut the bag open and see how it tastes. It probably is nasty, but oh oh it, it's the it's like fruit flavor. Let's see. It's probably mm. the gingerbread man's name is George. Just, okay, I'm disappointed because it doesn't taste like licorice. 
It's like fruit flavored. It's weird. Kimberly, don't don't hate on licorice because I love it. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a sweet tooth, so that's kind of a lie. But I do like licorice. I think it's amazing. I used to really hate it, but now I love it. I like, who likes black jelly beans? <laughs> who likes it? Comment, comment, please comment if you like black jelly beans. I think they're so good. Oh, I could put them in a little gingerbread cast. Like there's one with a really wonky arm. Maybe I'll put a cast on him. Yay, some people like licorice. It's good. <laughs> I'm not a mukbang channel, but this is happening right now. <laughs> okay, almond milk eggnog from Whole Foods is good. I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, we have black jelly beans love here. Okay, yeah, I'm so good. When I was in um, second grade or something, second grade? I think it was second grade. There was this math teacher who, um, if you did your homework, would give you like two jelly beans. Like she would go around and be like, did you do your homework? And I'm like, yeah. And she, she'd let you pick out two jelly beans. That's old school, and that was like the most amazing thing in the world. It like motivated you to do your homework, and I would eat. I would always pick out a black jelly bean. Would she be able to pick out your flavor? I don't remember. Maybe she didn't. Maybe she did. Maybe it was like a random grab. I don't know, but it was awesome. I don't. I know. I don't think teachers are really allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> I mean, this is like back in like the early '80s, but it was so exciting. And also super embarrassing and mortifying that I've had to do my homework. <sighs> Lisa, you hate jelly beans and licorice. <laughs> jelly beans are so good, but I don't, I don't, I only like the black jelly beans. Like I'm the kind of person that goes to Jelly Belly and buys it, like just scoops up the, je the black jelly beans and put them in a bag and buys that. Or the popcorn ones, I like those too. Actually, on the Derek and Kate show, we did that like bean boozled challenge or whatever where they had the, like, the gross jelly beans. First of all, I took all of the, the, the vomit jelly beans out of the equation. I like removed them all from the package. <laughs> Cause I didn't, I just didn't want that in play. Like that's really upsetting. But uh, I got really, a lot of the bad ones, like I got um, rotten egg and also uh, dog food, which is really bad. Coal flavor, ugh. I remember when the, the popcorn jelly, bean, jelly beans first came out, like in the, like the, I feel like it was the late 80s, and I was blown away by the blizzard. Blown away, head explosion. Purple is your favorite jelly bean. What is the purple flavor? Is it grape? Because sometimes I feel like things that are like grape flavored aren't necessarily like tasting like grape. You know what I mean? Because like grape, grapes taste really good, but they don't taste like grape flavored things. You know what I mean? It's kind of the same way that cherries don't taste like cherry flavored things. It's kind of weird. Uh, so she and Polly gonna be live for like an hour, hour and a half. Polly not longer than that. Yeah, being boozled challenge is really gross. Um, it's fun, but I don't recommend that you do it <laughs> because the um, the rotten egg flavor like it like knocked me off my socks. I was so upset, and I I almost couldn't finish the challenge. We also did. I remember like this is um, this was so fun. We did. <laughs> We did the baby food challenge where we'd like try different baby foods and tried to remember, we tried to figure out what flavor it was. And that was actually with Sarah. And you know what? I'm going to, if I'm talking about these things on the live channel, I'll just link them down below at the end. Uh, I have clips from SoundCloud with these uh, challenges and they're actually pretty funny. I, they're old, but they're funny. Yeah, the spoiled cheese, but the, the spoiled cheese jelly bean is so gross. It's... It's like, why would they do that? Like, why? Why? By the way, Clover's in his bed now. That's how bad he had to use the bathroom. <laughs> I think that. I think that, like, the, the two of us are still in, like, potty training mode still, even, like, a year and a half later, because he came to us not potty training. So um, when, he, when he first came in with me for the first month, I took him out every hour that I was home uh, no matter if he had to go or not, just because I was determined to like get it right, and he still had accidents. He still, I think he had like six or seven accidents, which is not that many. Um, but we're still, the both of us are still in like that paranoid mode where we're like, oh my gosh, he's gonna like go all over the kitchen floor when really that is not going to happen. He knows, and he's very good at holding. He hasn't been or pooped in the house in forever. 
like the toothpaste jelly bean was really good, actually. It tasted like mint. Because, I mean, toothpaste, you put that in your mouth on the regular. It should taste good, right? Right? That's kind of a weird flavor that they, that they should put slide in there. I, I, know. I know no puppies come potty trained. But I, I must have missed both. But, yes, I mean, when we got him, he hadn't even been, like, started. Um, I think that she had started in with his brother, but not him. So he, when he came here, he had like nothing. Like he didn't know, to, like he didn't know what to do, and it was very, very fun. Hi, Erica. How are you doing? How is everyone doing tonight? Um, is anyone else making cookies, or just me? It's probably just me. So, but I'm having a lot of fun. What, music check one more time. Is the music loud or no? Because it's like. It's kind of fun to hear it, but I just want to make sure that it's not too super loud. How old was I when he was when I got him? We were um, he was when we brought him home. He was four months old. So uh, this particular uh, breeder, who she was breeding him, uh, she was bred from a like a show breeding purpose. Um, his brother was supposed to be the show dog, and he was going to be like the the one that she. Uh, gave to another, another family, um, but she keeps them for like a really long time. It's, uh, she keeps them routinely until they're four months old, which I think is kind of cool. So he didn't come to us super young, but he was still really little. Yeah, the instrumental music is better, huh? Okay, let's see what's next on the docket. See if I can. Uh, what's playing now? Oh, you know what? We're just about to get to something good, so no worries. Let's see. Uh, no, so she, he is neutered. <laughs> and that was part of the contract anyway. He, he had some uh, hernias on his belly and in his groin, so uh, he, he had to have those removed at the same time as the uh, neuter. So he, he came home pretty busted. Oh, Lori, you'll be making cookies all week. Oh, you finished your grading first. Oh, no. Teachers work so hard. So hard. I don't know how you do it. Props on you. Laura, what, um, what grade do you teach? Yeah, he's a sweet boy. I love the Clover. Clover is so much fun. He's just like, he's my little best friend. Oh, my little buddy. My little like, adventure buddy. I love him. Oh, Trisha, that would be so cute if Minnie and Clover could meet up. Although he is so picky about who he plays with, I'm not even kidding. Like, it has to be, like, the right dog. And lately, he's just been so picky about it. Like, he has friends at the dog park that he'll maybe play with. Um, and then he's also a fair-weather friend. Like, he'll play with the, uh, like one dog for a while and then, like, see them one day and be like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to play with you anymore. I'll say hi. We don't, we're not playing. And it's so sad. Like, his little friend upstairs, not friends anymore. <laughs> It's really sad. Oh, Minnie's picky too. Yeah, what is that about? I, I, I kind of wish he would just play with everybody, but he's just, that's just the way he is, and I just have to accept it. Oh, you teach college. Oh, we're getting teaching degrees. That's awesome. Teaching future teachers, that's amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't imagine um, grading so papers and doing all that stuff, and teaching, uh, People who are future teachers, that's got to put extra strain on because teaching, I think teaching like older kids or adults is sometimes trickier than teaching uh, like adolescents or child, children, child's children. <laughs> I'm tired. I know the, the sad thing about the upstairs dog is that he sees Clover all the time and like tries so hard to get him to play with him. Like he's doing the play ball, he's like bouncing around. And Clover's like, nah. <laughs> and it's really sad. I feel so bad because they used to have so much fun, but now nothing. They had like a little spat. So ever since then, he's like not into it. He's like, he's like he holds a grudge. It's kind of like me. Trisha, I same. I'll take him to the park, and I'm like, let's play with other dogs. And he's like, no. So occasionally he'll like get into like a chase that's happening, um, but he runs around and he barks and chases, and he he thinks he 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 has successfully like scared away bigger dogs, and he he's got like an overinflated like sense of self, 
So um, I have to be careful around like, other like, big dogs because one day it's going to be the wrong dog. <laughs> They're all <old> child. <laughs> Hi, Carla. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, some freshmen can be entitled. I remember when I was a freshman, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was like a hot mess. Um, I was just... I was a mess. All right, let me open some of these little like round things because we oh the cookies are cool. We can decorate some of these guys now. Maybe like ten more minutes. Let's see. These little round things make me nervous because if they drop everywhere, oh no! I can just put them in the little the little tray. What am I talking about? There's this little this little tray. So we're gonna put those in the tray. God, they scare me. They're gonna go everywhere. <laughs> and we've got little stars, which I think are adorable. Let's see. It's got a little place where you can tear it, but I'm not gonna do that. And these are like Christmas lights things. I don't know if these really go with anything. I mean, maybe the trees. Okay, I'll do the trees. The little, the little like black licorice is like I'm not feeling that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it though. <laughs> maybe I'll put it on like one and see how I feel about it. This was this was a this was might have been a mistake this purchase but you know what it's fine <laughs> it's fine mistakes happen hmm. it's not from that twenty twenty dollar decorating kit it's like it was like a cheapy like I think this was like three dollars or something like that twenty dollar decorating kit actually I don't need it I'm probably gonna return it. Oh, did you have some mulled wine? Oh, so good. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so do we just open this? Okay. By the way, look how small the directions are. Like, that's like super tiny. How is everybody supposed to read that? Uh, remove cap and aluminum seal. Oh, I have to microwave this? I don't really want to do that. All right. Well, Good thing I am removing the, the metal seal before putting it in the microwave. I don't think I should have to re re microwave this. Do I really want to microwave this? Burn hazard. And um, five to second intervals until icing reaches desired consistency. Well, what's the consistency before I heat this up? <laughs> That's like, yeah, these should come with a magnifier. Look how tiny. Look how incorrect, like seriously? All right, what's the consistency of this before I, before it like warms up, let's see. Cause like, honestly, if it's like not gonna, well, that's fine. Why, why do they want me to heat this up? I don't know, let's try it. Mm, that's good. Okay, so let's decorate. One of these little mans, one of my mans. All right, let me put this to where you guys can see it. There we go. I'm gonna do this man. So we're gonna do little, little oh <laughs> He's scary, he's like a ghost. <laughs> little mouth. And actually, you know what? We'll put, we'll put little, we can make them like the Pillsbury Doughboy. I'm gonna pick out two of these little blue things. Oh, I need a blue one. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. You guys! <laughs> Look at him. Okay, he looks a little scary. But I think he's kind of cute. Let's see. Put it in hot water. I mean, I don't know if it needs it, right? Like. Why does it need it? Let's see. Do I put the buttons on? We put in the buttons on. Oh my gosh, my hair is on my face. Let's see. One, two. Okay, he can have two buttons. That's fine. He can have star buttons. Okay. Yeah? Look at him. He, oh gosh. His button fell off. 
right on to the uh, the colon, the colon, the colon, the parentheses key. Oh, I'm gonna have to get that off later. <laughs> I need to put like different icing here. Here, here we go. Here we go. Let's try again. Let's try again. There we go. All right. He's back. He's he's back dressed. All right. He's cool. Literally. Okay. You know what? I haven't even tried one. That's true. These cookies could be gross. All right. This angel has a broken wing, so let's try her. My apron is from anthropology. Oh, it's kind of soft. Okay. These are good. <laughs> Not gonna lie. These are good. Even though I messed up with the whole like putting the molasses in last, TV for Wednesday, these are good. These are good. Hmm. All right. Let's see. All right, let's put a little like fun icing action on this one. Everyone's saying I should put it in hot water, but I'm kind of over it, you guys. <laughs> I got I got skills. I got skills with cool icing. Actually, icing always makes gingerbread taste really good. And I really don't have a sweet tooth. She, she's cute. Look, look at her. Okay, I'll we'll put her right there. Let's do a tree. This is oh, I know this is bad. But you know what? They are soft. They're not um, they're not crispy. I think you can make the dough thinner to make them a little crispier. Um, but they're really, very, really, they're soft and they have a nice texture. Oh my god, you guys gone. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna quit YouTube, and I'm gonna be on um, Master Chef. Uh, Christina Rossi, like, watch out! <laughs> I'm coming for you. I'm coming for your job. I'm coming for your brand. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not. So not. By the way, I keep saying this, but I like, I am like legit, like, still shocked that I'm like, I knew like. Jason Wang from MasterChef. I mean, I'm not new him, like he's not dead, but I, I know him. And um, I, I'm still waiting for the day that we can get invited to dinner, just saying. Just saying, Jason, if you're watching. Dinner, lunch, brunch even, you know? Like amazing. I'll come into your closet, make brunch, whatever. All right, let's do another, let's do icing. How do I know him? We uh, have worked together on uh, in opera, in opera and um, a couple of other like coral things, coral things. But everybody in the Boston music scene knows one another. It is a very uh, insular and often perhaps too insular and clicky kind of environment, but yet fabulous. We like to say it's wonderful, right? It's wonderful. <laughs> no tea, no shade. No pink lemonade. So is anyone done their Christmas shopping yet? If you celebrate Christmas and you're shopping, who's done? Raise your hand in the chat. I know you can't physically do that. <laughs> so she is done. Oh my gosh. Yes, please thumbs up the live. Thank you, I love a thumb up. Whoa. Thumbs up. All right, hold on, I'm concentrating. And then I can look at your responses. <laughs> I'm, I'm making my art. Let's see. You ordered your last gift today. Everyone's all done. Good work, you guys. I have done, oh, this is the one I was eating. Everybody's done. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk about my mouth full. Oh my gosh, how rude. Four, three, Hall, I'm with you. No more shopping for me. I'm pretty much done. I told you we're only shopping for Clover because it's fun for us. 
otherwise we're not we're not really putting pressure to like buy each other anything i'm talking about my husband and i because we're just over it and um we're not visiting anybody so we're gonna have a nice private christmas we're gonna have drinks with my friend um in the afternoon and just have a really good peaceful good time because the stress of the year can't handle it this gingerbread man has um really interesting um, well, first of all, he's got a yellow eye. Okay, he's got two yellow eyes. He's a freak, right? You know what? He's not a freak. He's beautiful in his own way. We don't we don't talk about about people like that. He's beautiful. Lindsay, you're over Christmas. I can totally understand. Let's see. Oh, Laura's not even close. <laughs> not even close. Laura, I, you know what? Don't even stress. Don't stress. Actually, we'll do one over here. We'll do another. I like the snowflake. Like, I like the kind of like decorating it that, like this. I don't even want to put the little like uh, coutrement on it. You know, I just want to like do the icing. I think just the icing is cute. You know, I don't want to do anything too complicated. My husband's gonna come home and be like, "What is going on?" <laughs> I like my little tree. Let's see. My sister and my and her husband both consulted me out of the presents they were buying each other. <laughs> oh, consulted you about them. Wow. That's hardcore. Were they expensive presents? <laughs> or were they just like not sure if they were going to like them or not? So I feel like if it's an expensive present, definitely requires some consulting from the an outside party. I want to put a star. Stars. How come they only get a few stars? That's not fair. There we go. I'm going to put one on every little end there. Just because it's fun. And maybe I'll leave a couple of these for, um, for Mr. Soprano to do. <laughs> Hi, multifaceted me. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, see, I Christmas shopping to me is like, why bother, you know? I don't know. I mean, I guess Christmas shopping is great, but like I, nowadays in my 40s, would much rather spend time with my family and loved ones than shop and spend money and um, get them things that they might not like. You know what I mean? Um, but maybe that's, I don't know. I tend to have a really like sentimental feeling about the holidays more and more and less and less about shopping and more and more about having a good time with your fans and friends. You know what I mean? So you can stand up for $50. That's about, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Elfster, that's, there's an app for that. You know what? There's an app for everything. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm surprised, like, honestly. Like, why was I just genuinely surprised by that? Don't know. Don't know. All right, let's see. Is there one shape I haven't decorated yet? <laughs> well, it would be really, like, meta and epic if it's, like, put the star in the star. Let's do that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Sushi. The mitten, I haven't done the mitten. Oh boy, let's see, what do I do with the mitten? I just kind of just ice the mitten. The mitten, you know what? The mitten can have like some, some like dots on it. You know what I mean? Like dot, he can, he can get dotted. Get dotted, that sounds like a, a, an insult. Yo, you could get dotted. I'm starting to lose my mind. You guys are getting um like, Derek and K show style K <laughs> and not like the organized soprano type K. <laughs> it's a different show. All right, here we go. We're going to do a little sprinkly poo. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's so cute. Uh oh, man down. Okay. After this, I think I'm going to go back to um, Super Smash Brothers because <laughs> I've been wanting to play that for days and haven't. There we go. That's cute. That's cute, right? Okay, I can't like put that up to the camera because it's gonna fall down. Let's see. 
Everybody, you were thinking dots too. There you go. It's cute. Let's do another one. Let's see. I think the sugar is hitting your system. It is because you know what? Honestly, I don't. I don't mm, eat very much sugar. I try not to. And um, like first thing in the morning, I eat sugar, and that's pretty much it. Um, but I uh, I try to stay away from too much sugar. And there's actually a really amazing brown sugar that's in this. <laughs> so yummy. And what is dry? Hmm? Let's see. Yeah, I think the dots are super cute. We'll do a couple more of the dots. This will be for Mr. Soprano. He can have the dots. Because he likes, he loves sweet things. He is like always the one suggesting that we get dessert, which I say, you go for it. I'm going to have like another cocktail or like some pickles. <laughs> you have some dessert. You go for it. That's what I usually say. I do not have a super sweet tooth. Let's see. Dot, 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 dot. It doesn't feel right also if we don't have all the colors. It feels a little weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just want to make sure all the colors are in there. All representative. Again, we're, in, we're an inclusive cookie decorating stream here. Don't want to forget anybody. Okay. So, totes adorbs. <laughs> all right. One more mitten. One more mitten for a, uh, one more mitten for mittens. <laughs> What's going on in the chat? Let's see. Dennis, do you love Smash? Really? Oh my, you're curvy? Okay, we're gonna, okay. Do, they have like online fighting, right? Um, I am Pikachu, or as um, my friend Derek would say, Cheapachu, uh, which I don't think he's very cheap, honestly. <laughs> um, I love the Pikachu. I haven't actually had time to play, and I haven't, I've only unlocked like, maybe like, five characters because I got my um I got my butt beat by Sonic which I was super mad about and I got my butt beat by like I think Marth um and some others <laughs> so I, I I owe them they owe me a rematch um but if, if they have online like fighting we should set up we should set up a little a little battle Let's see do I ever play co-op games yes so smash is actually has a co-op setting and uh, Pikmin does too, and so does, um, and there's a game called um, Snipper Clips that was for Switch that's super fun. It's like the ultimate co-op game, and you play as like little characters that have to like cut things, you have to cut each other to like solve puzzles. It's so cute, I love it. Um, what else do I play that's co-op? I think that's it. Everything else we fighting. We fighting. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Good night, Oma. Good night. Oh, I should do a Pokeball cookie. Can I do this as a po I wish I had some red. I should have had some red. I, I should have bought another color. Maybe I'll do that, like, you know, tomorrow. I'll go to Target and I'll buy another color. All right. One more one more uh, cookie decorating. And then um, I think I'm going to hang up, you guys, because I think my husband's getting home soon, so he's not going to want to come home to live stream. Laura, have you played Snipper Clips before? It's so cute. I love it. I love it. But it's really frustrating if the other person is like struggling though. Struggle bus. So frustrating. Oh, four or three. Oh, that would be so cute. That would be so cute. I know Target stop number nine. Man, Target is like, I might as well live at Target. Like it's dangerous to live within a walking distance of a Target because I'm just there all the time. And if you remember, if you forget something, you're like, oh, let's go back to Target because it's so easy because it's right there. I feel like everyone who lives in Boston lives within walking distance of a Target, you know? Because now they're everywhere. They're really uh, like everywhere. It's kind of, it's really dangerous. Very dangerous. All right, what color eyes? You know what? He can be starry-eyed because he just, ran into his favorite celebrity on the street. <laughs> I don't know. And he can have like random, there is he, buttons. There we go. There. He's got stars in his eyes <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> These taste good. They're kind of hard, but that's fine. Oh, I should, because I should, maybe I should add some food coloring. Okay, maybe I'll do that later. <laughs> All right, you guys, I have been live for an hour and nine minutes. 
I have had so much fun making cookies with you on here. I'm sorry I wasn't more interactive in the chat. It was supposed to be a charity live stream, but not everyone has Super Chopper Good. I just found that out. Um, so as soon as they roll it out to, to everyone, I will do a charity live stream. So Super Chop for Good, so all your Super Chops will go to charity instead of going to me. Um, that'll be fun. So hopefully that'll be really soon. Probably not before Christmas, so not doing that right now. Um, but you guys, I have had so much fun. So much fun. So I'm gonna like let the rest of these cookies chill. I'm gonna decorate these off the stream. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining and I love you all. Bye.